not good. If somebody jumps out, here you go. This is what's good right here. If these guys behind me will start racing. But I guarantee you, Tony Stewart, that 20 car, he knows he can't get far off the bottom, but he's going to have to go to the top if he wants to go around Forsett. Forrest puts a block on him. There comes Kyle Busch in the back of the bottom. He's going to push Forrest. Two laps to go. Now, here's where Forrest might be a little bit nervous. Set and Stewart side by side. Stewart has help. Two to go. How would you like to be at least to turn it off into the infield right down there, but you're running 190 mile an hour? Said slips to third. The glass slipper almost fifth. Listen, he has got his hands full. There's no question about that. That car, we know, is it's all over the place. But here comes Kyle Busch's brother, Kurt Busch, up there to push his brother, the five car, Kyle. What's Boris's car? He just wants to wail his walk up the racetrack with him. He's just chasing him. He doesn't need anybody up behind him. The blood is thicker than water. But most brothers in racing would rather beat their own brother than anybody else. How about the Bush brothers? Well, we're going to find out here, boys. It's one to go. And the Bush boys are in hot pursuit. And here comes Matt Kenseth in that six car on the high right side. He's getting help from his teammate, McMurray, in the 26. Kenseth has never won here, but he's taking the long way around on the outside. Just remember, it gets really tense coming down the back right here. You start blocking in turn three. Caution is out. Caution is out. We'll be going to waste time over the tender flag way. That's it. We were in a white flag left. We took the white flag. We took the white flag. The field is frozen at the moment of caution. The yellow flag waves as they come toward the finish line. Tony Stewart. And the Home Depot Chevrolet will score the second win.